hey guys and good morning so it's not even 4 a.m. and I'm about to walk about a half hour in the dark by myself to a bus station to travel two hours to get to a train station so I can go to Paris so it's all coming with it in the end it just kind of sucks and I know you guys are saying, why not take a train? Well, the trains aren't operating right now because it's so freaking early. And Uber would cost about 50 American dollars. So to save money, it just, you know, takes time. I will see you guys soon. Probably on the train on my way to Paris. Checking back in. So um, I'm very new to this travel by myself thing. Where I'm from, we don't have public transportation. And I just looked at my GPS and it says it's currently, it's like, 3.50 now but it said if I leave by 4.30 I can catch a train that leaves at like 4.50 so I'm probably gonna wait 15 minutes and then I'm gonna go catch that train and then I can take a bus from there instead of walking literally two miles in the dark by myself I can walk to the train station I know is at so I think I'm gonna try and do that worst comes to worst the train doesn't work I can like bus half the way in uber I mean Uber is absolutely my last option, but if I have to, to make it in time, I'll do it. It's fine. It's whatever. So, we're going to go on this adventure together, trying to travel. Luckily, the trip itself is actually with a tour group. So, like, they plan everything. I just have to actually get there. I know I seem like an idiot. It's early. I'm really hungry. I'm really tired. So, we're just going to do this together, okay? Sounds good. Probably can't see it very well, but that's a fox. I told you I'd catch it on tape one day. I really hope he doesn't attack me whenever I walk by. He's just chilling. So I'm on my way to the train station and it's snowing, which we talked to the locals and they say it's pretty rare here. So of course the one day I have to be up in an odd the hour and walk a mile with luggage, it snows and it's snowing pretty heavily too which is making me pulling my suitcase extremely hard and my hand is cramping. All right, so I'm at the train station now. My hair is drenched with snow, but it's fine. I forgot my hat, but I have my hood, so it's good. But I have 20 minutes until the next train comes. So I'm just going to chill like a villain and try not to freeze to death. Honestly, I can't complain because at home right now, like in Pennsylvania, it was like negative 30 degrees like the whole week so it's only like 30 here it's like a 60 degrees difference which is crazy okay so now i'm at the bus stop um it's freaking freezing i wish i would have brought my gloves and my hat and my scarf but i didn't it's fine it's supposed to be a little bit warmer in paris this weekend it's supposed to rain but i can deal with that um so yeah now i'm just waiting for the bus to come and hopefully it's soon because i'm cold all right, so now I'm at the train station. I got some breakfast. I'm like nearly an hour early and I'm starving. So I'm just gonna chill and wait for the tour guide to get here. Maybe read a little bit, cause I really wanna eat, read Anne Frank before I go to Amsterdam. And I'm like halfway through it now. All right, so we're officially in Paris. I made a new friend, Carly. We're currently at a restaurant. It kind of has like pizza and spaghetti. So kind of like an Italian restaurant, I guess. I really don't know French foods. So, like they have like what, macaroons? and stuff and like croissants so we couldn't check into our rooms yet so we're gonna get food and then we are gonna go be tourists the rest of the day but right now i'm starving and need to eat all right so the food came just got a basic cheese pizza because i'm basic like that but it looks delicious all right so now we're just walking around we ate it was really good um we don't have to meet our tour guide it's like another 15 minutes so we're just kind of getting to know the area and look how absolutely gorgeous this architecture is like Everything is just so quaint and posh, and I love it. Alright, so now we're at what I believe is called the Arc de Triumph. You guys already know my pronunciations are so bad. It's kind of rainy, but it's okay. But look how cool. This road literally goes on forever. I can never do it. I think it's recording and it's not. We just stopped by a little gift shop place, tourist place, and I got another keychain for my wall, just a little Eiffel Tower. I also got some postcards. I don't want to get them out right now because I don't want to get them wet because it's raining, but I like to get them for my wall and for my grandma. Is it really 
a true trip to France if you don't come and don't get macarons. So of course we had to spend an ungodly amount. It was like 10 US dollars to get four, but it's okay. It's all part of the culture, so we're gonna eat these. Of course, I had to be a typical white girl and get my Starbies. Gotta get me through the day. I've been up since three. Okay, so now we're on our way to, to the Louvre. It's raining and it's like a half hour walk, but it's worth it because I need to see the Mona Lisa. So that's what we're gonna go do. And hopefully they don't die on the way there. It's miles and miles away. I can officially say I have seen the Eiffel Tower with my own eyes. It's that little dot point thing right there. See? Boop, boop. One day I will learn how to like master this photo trick thing. After hiking literally all across France, we are finally to the Louvre. Ah, it's a little pyramid. The Mona Lisa's in there somewhere. Okay, I'm stopping. I hate myself. Is this is trash. I'm trash. Oh, it's starting to light up. I'm in Paris. Like what? Wild. Alright, so we're officially in, and now we're gonna go try and find the Mona Lisa because that's all I really care about is just seeing the Mona Lisa. Just kidding, I care about everything. But seriously, I want to see the Mona Lisa. All I can think about right now is that it's a museum and them coming to life. Like, they're about to start talking. Right now we are gonna go and see her up close. It's raining, I'm wet, my feet hurt, but she's worth it. Look how gorgeous. Do the finger poke. Touch the top. Oh there. <laughs> I'm a super Taurus, it's fine. underneath her and I'm so excited. Look at it. Look at it. Alright, so you had to pay to get underneath. No, you didn't. I just couldn't read French. Uh, it's like to walk underneath the Eiffel Tower and we decided that we're going to try and go to the top tomorrow. So it's the point of paying twice. So we're just going to do it tomorrow. But right now I'm starving and I'm wet. And y'all, y'all know I already collect hard rock pins for my aunt and myself. So we're gonna go to the hard rock in Paris and eat there and get some pins. Okay, so we came to the hard rock for dinner. This lady's awful. Um, we're finally sat. We waited for like a half hour because I'm high maintenance like that. You already know I got pins. I got this one for myself. It's the Mona Lisa. And then this one for my aunt. I also got a sweatshirt. It's just like a black hoodie. It says Hard Rock Paris on it. So yeah, we're gonna eat and I'm starving. All right, so we're officially walking back to the hotel now. Um, I didn't even vlog what I ate so I was so freaking hungry and now I'm so freaking tired that I'm gonna crash. So that was it for today and I'll catch y'all in the next one.